Now to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where tensions remain high as conflict with M23, a rebel group backed by Rwanda, continues in the east. Kinshasa denounced the European Union signing of a critical raw materials deal with Rwanda, which it accuses of stealing its mineral wealth. The Democratic Republic of Congo has hit out at the European Union for a recent deal that it signed with Rwanda on raw materials. Relations between Rwanda and Congo are dire in the extreme. Congo accuses its neighbor Rwanda of backing the M23 rebel group in order to plunder its mineral resources. Rwanda, for its part, says that Congo works with militias such as the FDLR, which present a national security threat to Rwanda. On Monday, Brussels inadvertently waded into this dispute by signing a memorandum of understanding on raw materials with Rwanda, which it said produces critical minerals such as tantalum and niobium. The deal provides for ensuring a supply of raw materials for the EU and aims to increase traceability. But the signing provoked outrage in Kinshasa. The foreign ministry said that Rwanda doesn't have the critical materials and that it smuggles them from Congolese territory, where they are abundant. It also said the signing of the deal was, and I quote, a very unfriendly act, and it called for an explanation. Congolese government spokesman Patrick Muyaya posted on social media that there is no compassion towards victims of Rwandan aggression. Brussels signed a similar deal with Congo in October, but its Rwanda deal couldn't have come at a worse time. For a start, many Congolese people perceive the EU as indirectly supporting M23 rebels through its relations with Rwanda. But on top of that, the EU-Rwanda deal was signed amid fierce fighting between the M23 and Congolese forces, and it came just as the rebels had encircled the Congolese city of Goma.